questions I get a lot is can these inserts handle high tunings? So we're just gonna do a little test. This is left over from the last show. It hasn't actually been tuned today. Um, but let's just start from here because this is where we normally play it. Doing roughly quarter turns. That's a pretty normal range for us. Now we're definitely going past where I would normally hang out. And it's so fun though. We want to play in higher tunings. We've already played this head for, I think, five shows, and we're probably about to change it out pretty soon, but you can hear the glue is popping again. Sometimes with certain heads, you can even run into a tuning limit. Oh, yeah. Here goes the glue, where it just doesn't want to go any higher. Like you can get it tighter, but that's why I like a snare side no collar heads from Remo on the bottom. Glue still popping. Oh, it's so fun. That's like almost marching snare. Very cool. getting hard to turn now. Now the head's getting choked a little bit. Tighten the snare chains. You know, it's hard to tell from far away, but these heat set inserts aren't budging at all. They could probably go to the point where the head would actually break or the tension rods would actually bottom out in the channel here, which I think is about an inch deep. Just like any lug on any drum, if your tension rods are too long or you tune too tight and it hits the bottom here, I experienced breaking through the bottom of the lug. I'm not worried about these inserts pulling out, but that was the question. Can those inserts handle high tunings? And I would say absolutely. I think eventually this rim could, if we had enough room in these channels here, we could get this rim to either surpass the, the level of the bearing edge or maybe even pop the head itself before we need to be worried about the inserts coming loose. But yeah, these are actually, with this one, I can barely even turn this little key anymore. This larger DW key, I can just keep going with that one now. Even that's getting hard. bottom out in this channel, but we'll do one more. Yeah, it's not even tuning up much more now. It's just getting a little tighter. I, I would almost say that some of these are getting easier to turn now. the tuning limit pitch wise of this head. Now I think the glue is just going to continue to give way. These are all getting easier to turn. It might just pop any second now. So yeah, I also again I don't want to I don't want to bottom out here just like I would treat any snare drum. But I would say these heat set inserts are definitely high tuning approved. So I marked this right at like just before seven eighths. So maybe we can push it a little further. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually breaking the washer. Here we're almost running the rim level with the head and down here it's actually starting to deform the metal hoop not the bearing edge see that the bearing edge is perfectly round all, all around but the hoop down here is actually starting to deform I think just for the sake of the fact that we need this drum and this rim for the show tonight and how tight that is it's I think we'll just call it there. I don't think because it's being tugged pretty evenly all around, the heads aren't ever just gonna burst, but I honestly don't think it's gonna get any tighter or we're just gonna continue to deform this room. I'll show you up close. This little ring of plastic here is a squeeze out from when we do the initial heat set inserting. So that's not any deformation. You can see every single one has it, but these inserts aren't budging at all. And uh, here's the, it's hard to see in the video, but you can actually see the triple flange hoop is actually deforming right here and a little outside of these two lugs. But the rim is staying perfectly round. Cool, high tuning approved. <laughs> Jones is just like, what the? <laughs> Yeah, new snare sound. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? So the head is pretty much almost level with the rim, so the snare weight won't click together. <laughs> we could have just done that. 